For the first time, a federal database that tracks every pill sold in the U.S. is being made public and the numbers are staggering. You know, the Washington Post published the database after a lengthy court battle. The paper found 76 billion prescription pain pills were distributed across the country from 2006 through 2012. That includes two and a half billion pills here in North Carolina. That breaks down to 41 pills per year for every man, woman, and child in the state. And the data shows a pharmacy in Hickory distributed more opioids than any other pharmacy in North Carolina. New tonight, NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner takes us behind the numbers. That's right. This is one of the maps produced by that data from the Washington Post. You can see all the counties in North Carolina where each pill has ended up. We have Charlotte right over here, but as you go up into the foothills and the mountains, for example, Catawba County, those areas that have been hard hit by the opioid crisis, they also have the high number of pills per person. Through the years, we've shown you the faces of the opioid crisis from distraught mothers. I don't know if he's alive or if he's dead. To narcotics detectives busting dealers. Now for the first time, we're seeing the numbers behind the faces. The Washington Post obtained and published a county by county database from the Drug Enforcement Administration. It shows where every oxycodone and hydrocodone pill was sent in the United States from 2006 to 2012. Stephen Rich is the database editor for the newspaper's investigations team. We really wanted to put in perspective and in context how your communities were affected by the number of pills that flowed into them. More than 67 million pain pills flow through Catawba County. That's an average of 62 pills per person per year. And the county's home to a pharmacy that received more oxycodone and hydrocodone pills than any other pharmacy in our state, Omnicare Pharmacy of Hickory. CVS Health owns the pharmacy. It tells us Omnicare tends to have a higher volume of business than the typical retail pharmacy because it doesn't serve directly to customers, only skilled nursing and assisted living facilities. The company says its Hickory location is one of its larger pharmacies in the region. Rich says just because a pharmacy receives so many pills doesn't necessarily mean something's wrong but it increases the chance these pills end up in the wrong hands. There was a greater risk of these pills hitting the black market, not that they did, but these two drugs, hydrocodone and oxycodone, uh, were the ones that were the most diverted uh, at the height of the crisis to the black market. We'll post a link to this database online at WCNC.com so you can see for yourself in your own county. Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.